Hey. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna apologize for being a little behind on my vlogs. I actually haven't vlogged the past couple days because I've been trying to get these uh, other ones uploaded. Um, yeah, today's not a very good day in Santa Barbara. <coughs> As you can tell, I'm actually here at work. I want to get this flag so you're not going to see what I'm doing right now. Except talking on the camera. Um, the Sundowner wins yesterday have uh, made the fire go a little bigger. Well, has kind of kicked it back up a little bit. Yesterday was looking beautiful. Today is uh, Saturday the 16th. December 16th. Um, yesterday, actually, we could see blue sky. It was gorgeous. Today, uh, nope. Sundowner wins yesterday and last night have kicked it up. A lot of smoke and ash have drifted in towards us. <clears throat> uh, driving down the hill, I can actually see little bits of fire up on top of a ridge in Montecito. Um, I'm going to run outside with, the, with you guys and show you what it looks like here. Okay, it's back to being like this. So you can kind of see there was some blue sky up that way. There's a little bit of blue sky left. There's a big old smoke cloud coming this way. Yeah. Sun's going back to hiding behind some smoke clouds. But I am open. It is Saturday. And I am open like normal for normal business hours. I have no intentions of closing today either. So well closing early might cost more today to keep the shop open. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. Keep you guys updated. Uh, what's going on. <clears throat> I might actually go on to Periscope. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Um, not really sure what to say right now. <laughs> There's not much to say. Uh, this is getting, like, bad. Um... On the way down the hill today, you could see it. Half the sky was blue, and there was a big brownish yellow cloud floating in to cover it up. You can actually see it. it looks It looked like a dust storm or a sandstorm of some kind. So, with that, if I can get the picture onto here, I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna put it on this vlog so you guys can see it. It's gonna go like somewhere right here if it uh, if I can. Now, if I can't get the photo for some reason, then uh, strike that. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Hey guys, um, I'm here in Santa Barbara. It is dead downtown right now. We are actually in a voluntary evacuation zone. Uh, the color I have balanced for daylight, and you can probably see it doesn't look very good out here. I'm going to show you right now. Look at that. Can you see the hills over there? The sun is hidden behind a bunch of smoke and ashes. This is how bad it looks out here right now. Yeah. But as it stands right now, we're still only under a voluntary evacuation. Um, I'm gonna shut the camera off right now and switch the white balance back to uh, the lights in here incandescent so I'll catch you guys in like a split second see that's how quick it is um, as you can probably imagine <clears throat> if the fire does make its way into the town it's it's gonna be a little hectic um, but it's all this stuff like the guitar from Carlos Santana signatures from celebrities, these pictures here from a God of Fire dinner. All of these are signed by the celebrities on the covers. This stuff's irreplaceable. So I'm gonna have to pack all this up if I have to. If I have to, I will pull my car around the front and start taking these things down one by one and put them in the back seat or something. If I have to. But right now, we're okay. The air quality outside is not is not good at all. Um, 
I've actually got the news on. This is our local news station, KEYT. Kind of gives gives a good idea of what's going on and what I possibly need to do if I have to. I've got my phone on constant charging right now, just in case I have to book it out of here. Um, I don't know how, what the likelihood of it making its way into the city is going to be. Um, we just don't know. But it sounds like right now the weather is in our favor. Um, the winds have calmed down. Yeah, see, here you go. That's what it looks like. So, um, like they're saying, <clears throat> the weather is in our favor right now. It has, uh, the winds have calmed down. Uh, they've got a little gap here. Apparently a super tanker's on its way to drop something. Drop some water or fire retardant onto the, onto the fire. Um, apparently the, the sundowner winds tonight might be a problem. It's going to spike. But then after the sundowner winds, after starting tomorrow morning, it's apparently going to calm down all the way till Wednesday. So, we might be okay here, but if I have to, I'm going to pack some stuff and take off. You know, it is what it is. It's a fire. There's nothing much I can do, nothing much anybody can do. Uh, all we have to do is hope that the first, that the firefighters can, are, are doing their best and I know they're doing their best first responders sheriff's department is going around door to door to the mandatory evacuation zones to make sure people will get out um, these first responders I'm putting out there again not just the firefighters this time police department sheriff's department medical personnel you know I am grateful that these people exist that the people have chosen to take that profession on I honestly couldn't do it as I was telling somebody last night who uh, he's he, he was a firefighter. He was in here buying stuff. I told him I was like, first responders like the military. You guys are all a little bit psychotic, and I mean that in a very good way. Because while the rest of us are fleeing to safety when something happens, you guys go into it. You guys run towards it with the intention of protecting the rest of us. And for that, I am truly grateful. And I just wanted to put that out there because I am so grateful for it uh, and I know all you guys are doing the best job you can you give given more than hundred percent I know that and this fire is insane apparently it's burned over 200,000 acres now it's the third largest fire ever in California uh, what they one of those little things they said was that it is the fire is now larger than any city in California except for Los Angeles city yeah, something like that. That's what they said. Don't quote me. I'm quoting them. Um, so things are okay here. Uh, there's ash coming into the shop through our skylight. You see, there's a skylight up there. There's a skylight up top in the roof. Yeah. <coughs> there's some ash coming through. <coughs> I'm not coughing because of smoke and ash. I kind of had some coffee go down the wrong way earlier, and I haven't been able to truly, like, really clear it out yet. So, that's a little update now, and I'll update you guys again uh, in a little bit. Uh, hopefully, again, hopefully, this gets taken care of. It's supposed, the weather's supposed to be cooperative from tomorrow up until, like, Wednesday. So, that hopefully will, will help us out, uh, be in our favor. Hopefully, we'll be able to stop this thing so i'll catch you guys in a little bit with another update if i need to and i'll see you in a bit bye so here we go there's a little bit of blue sky up there Jeez, look at that that's crazy that's cool looking on the screen in we go that way look at that Ooh, uh, bleh. that's gross looking look at this guy hi hey it's slender man <laughs> slender man got burned So I'm here outside in front of the shop. I have to wear this thing because last time I came out here it was bad. I almost choked on it. And if you look down, there's a shop down there, a restaurant down there. Savoy's open, Sportsman's open. We are open and that's it. <laughs> Everything else is closed. We're the only crazy, crazy dudes still hanging out here. Yeah, we're still in voluntary evacuation. You can kind of see the, look up that way. I'm gonna zoom that in over there. Yeah, look at that. You can barely see that that hill now. The good news is that hill isn't on fire anymore like it was earlier. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know when I came down, I think you could see the flames looking up from that. Yeah, well, me and Lauren came out and looked at it. This is crazy. So yeah, to show you further north, you would really see blue sky. Yeah. Actually, if you guys have been watching the news, you'll see it looks like an atomic weapon went off because there's this big old cloud sticking up in the sky. Uh, woo! Lots of ash coming up here. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, car pulled up and a bunch of ashes flew up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we're doing. More we're hanging than brains. Pretty much. <laughs> we're hanging out here. It's, uh, well, yeah, again, we're still open for some weird reason. There's like nobody out here either. There's a group of people walking across the street right now. That's about it. Where's Garth Brooks when you need him? <laughs> I think they were trying to get some pizza. Yeah, thanks for turning up all the ash. You dick. So. It's kind of a ghost town here in town. Uh, there's another car. There's no white Christmas. This is a great Christmas. Now. <laughs> Brown Give it Christmas. a few more days. Jeez. I'm still tripping out about that sky right there. Look at that. It's a craziness. The camera can't pick it up, but it's like super hazy. It's like really hazy out. Come over here. There's a little more blue over here. I'm like worried about getting hit by a car, and there's like no cars out. Maybe like yeah. two. Is that you can stand in the middle of the street for an hour and not hey, get hit. Hey, do some planking. What? I'm not doing any planking. Let me look at this. That's gay. It's across the street. Dark as hell on that side. Yeah, so that's what's going on here. We're still under voluntary. We haven't been mandatory evacuated yet. I got a lot of stuff to take from the shop if we get mandatory and we have to leave. Oh, what? Gosh, on the ground. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You see the shadow of my camera in there. Turn your lights on. I still see the shadow of the camera. That's just because of that light. Yeah. I'll show them the ground over here. Yeah, look at all that crap. The street's not that bad because the cars have been turning it up. Yeah. So, yeah. You're not in England. So, Drive on the right side of the road. Yeah, I know, right? Crazy people. So, I'm going to cut it off here. I'll come back at you with another update uh, in a bit. Bye. Hey, guys. It is now going on 8 o'clock. I uh, haven't really updated because it's all been about the same. It's 8 o'clock out right now. And I'm going to tell you the truth. Santa Barbara is never this quiet on a Saturday night at 8 o'clock. It's like a ghost town. There's some cars moving in and out here and there. City buses. Some of them are still running. But, you know, it's like we're still in voluntary evacuation zone. We are not mandatory. I don't think we're going to get mandatory. The way the fire is moving, I don't think it's going to get, we're going to end up in that situation. See, so bus is moving by, so it's going to be a little noisy. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to do, I'm probably going to close up now I mean it's like a couple minutes to eight technically but I'm gonna close up dedicated dedicated to keeping the shop open yeah like I said we were the only ones open on this block uh, earlier my buddy said I said dedicated he says stupid and I was like you know what I'm still dedicated so I'm gonna close up shop I'll probably update you guys again at some point this evening and I hope everybody's okay and once again, I want to thank the firefighters and first responders, emergency personnel that are out there. See you guys in a bit. Bye. Hey, you guys. So, I'm going to call an end to this particular vlog. Uh, this is the first time I've done uh, a one-day vlog. Um, hopefully, this will go up very soon. I've got a couple that I've got to upload tonight. Uh... Maybe I'll try uploading this one at the same time. They're not that big. The other past two were a lot shorter than normal. Um, so just as in a little update on the, on life in Santa Barbara uh, with the Thomas Fire looming over in the hills. Uh, smoke, ash, 
descended onto our town, uh, all through downtown. Still voluntary evacuation. Luckily, the weather has cooperated with us. Um, the winds have kind of died down a little bit, and one of the there's one of the uh, sheriffs, the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Department. They've got helicopters flying at night uh, because they're one of the few that are actually equipped with night vision. Uh, so they're going to be going through the night, dropping water um, onto the fire zones, hot spots, and whatnot. Uh, I saw some footage on the on the local news KEYT about that. And uh, you know, again, I cannot express how grateful I am for the for the people in the sheriff's department, people in the fire, the firefighters. Um, special thanks to the ones that have come so a long way to help us out. I mean, last I heard, there were some firefighters uh, here from Portland, uh, Oregon, helping us out. You know, I, I heard that there was some f out of Nevada, all over California. These guys, you guys and girls, men and women sorry, uh, who have come such a long way to, to help us out in that, you know, I really, really have to thank all of them from the bottom of my heart. Uh, our local, semi-local, farther out, all the way out, however far, you know, thank you a lot. Thank you so much for being the ones who are brave enough to step out there and to help keep, protect the rest of us. Um, again, this is where I'm going to cut this vlog for the day. This is again the first time I'm going to try, I'm going to do a kind of a day vlog instead of a multi-day one. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, right now it is going on quarter to eleven. Um, I'm going to make sure to take this camera with me in case there's any any sights I want to show you on my way into work tomorrow. Yes I was working today, yes I was opened all day. Um, I guess you can call me a dedicated tobacconist employee I'm not sure the best way to say that is my buddy called me called me retarded or idiotic or stupid I'm like you know what if I can keep the door open I'm gonna keep the door open not literally because there's ash flowing around but if I can keep the business open I'd rather do that you know, in case anybody wants to come by um, until I hear from until I hear from my my buddy who is the owner of the shop um, and also my employer uh, Unless I hear from him to close the shop, I'm gonna make sure to stay. I'm gonna make sure the shop is open, uh, no more hours. So, um, I'm gonna keep you guys as updated as I can on this fire and what we're experiencing here in downtown. Uh, I was getting a little worried at a certain point there, but uh, when the winds started to calm down, they said it's it, it, the winds have kind of settled down and. Uh, the fire was not spreading as fast. I eased up a little bit. Um, it is gonna. It would take a lot for it to get through. To get through town to get to where I'm at right here. It'll take even more to get up to where I live. I live up on the mesa. Um, so I live up on the hill, um, farther away than the shop is. So I would. I'm gonna cut it off here. I'm gonna get to editing this one. Yeah, it's so weird I talk about that. I am currently recording this, and I'm going to edit this. When you guys see this, it's a little strange to you know, hear it said that way. So I'm going to call it quits today, and I'm going to come back at you tomorrow uh, with some more update about what's going on. So again, as, as it stands, we are still in a voluntary evacuation zone. Um, they have not upgraded us to mandatory, and I don't think they will unless for some reason there's a jumper. Am I about to have a commentator's curse? Uh, please don't let there be a jumper. Um, seems like it's burning up in a northward uh, path. So hopefully we're all okay here. And that's pretty much it. So if you don't forget to, if, you know, if you got to this point in this vlog, I thank you for watching. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, if you have any loved ones, friends or family uh, in and around Santa Barbara that you haven't been able to get a hold of, uh, let me know. If somebody I know, I'll be able, I'm going to try to get in contact with them for you. So please hit that like button, comment. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box and I'll, I'll answer them as best I can. Um, 
share this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notifications if you haven't done that yet, uh, especially at this time when there's this gigantic wildfire looming over the hill. Um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. And I hope everybody is having a good holiday season so far. And I'll see you guys soon.